Hello friends. Today we are repairing an Acer monitor. The green light is constantly blinking. And the power button is difficult to press. You will need to clean the power button and fix the problem with the power supply, since it does not turn on. One screw is hidden. You need to remove the leg. Here is a swollen capacitor. It will be replaced. The rest are intact. And we will fix the power button. I'm starting to dismantle the capacitor. I've already picked it out. I'll put in 10 volts, 2200 microfarads. The capacity is more than necessary because I don't have exactly that one. I dismantled it. To make holes I use a stick and solder a new one of better quality. Do not confuse the polarity and solder. The board is ready. Now we have the next problem. I will work with the button. Such buttons can be repaired or replaced with new ones. I usually repair them. Their repair of course takes time. We cut off the tops of the buttons, one contact will be soldered, but I will try to bend it. Here are not standard buttons, and also the central body is soldered to the board. I will try with a spatula. I bent the plate and took out the button. There is a plate underneath. I take it out. A coating formed on the button and on the plate itself. Now I will clean it off under a microscope and put it back in place. I cleaned everything, including the contacts inside. 
Now I will install the membrane in place. A plastic button on top. And I bend the plate back as it was. I don't like this leg. I'll bite it off. It's useless. The button's tactility is gone. I'm replacing it with a new one. Button repair doesn't always help. Sometimes you need to replace it with a new one. I have a new button. The tactility is good. I'll use a hairdryer to solder out the button. It is better, of course, to do this with a soldering iron, because the solder here is lead. I'm making holes. Ready. Using a soldering iron, I solder the button. Ready. Cleaning from flux. Okay, let's go check it out. The capacitor is a bit big. It was necessary to bend it. It rested against a plate that does not conduct current, so it will be safe. We will not press the board too much. We lower this metal thing to secure the connector. I connected the cable, now the connectors. That's enough, we'll check. Connected the power, the LED lit up. I press the power button, the green indicator lit up. The backlight turns on, a signal comes out. But since our monitor is not connected, it goes into sleep mode. The yellow light comes on. I turn off the monitor again. Then turn it on again. The green light comes on. Then it goes into sleep mode again because it needs to be connected to the computer. We will press the lower part, fix the monitor, then along the perimeter. We will check the pressure, the board does not move, the case press the board. We assemble the monitor. Everything is ready. 
The monitor is assembled. We put away the tools and check again. I press the button. The green light comes on. It goes into sleep mode. The yellow light comes on. The monitor is working properly. I hope the video was useful. Subscribe, like, good luck with your repairs, bye.